All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be doing the third video of this uh, storage unit, and uh, it does keep getting a little bit better and better uh, each time. So uh, with that being said, it's a 10 by 20. We spent $710 on this storage unit. Uh, before we get into it, I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support, man. We are at 8,925 subscribers, 75 away from uh, 9,000, which is absolutely crazy for me. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support over, I think, uh, getting close to 200 likes of, on my last video. So thank you guys so much for all that. Love, love you guys to death. I love all the support that you guys give me and my wife and just constantly going with me on this journey of reselling and undisco and discovering you know that undiscovered treasure right uh so with that being said i appreciate y'all let's go ahead and jump into the video all right guys as soon as i walked in there i got that little box that was there and i haven't opened it yet but it says old electronics and printer label maker something, something let's see what's in this heavy behind box all right so there is stuff in here hold on Okay, it's a VHS player. That is a VHS player. That's a General Electric one. I don't know if that's going to be worth anything, but VHS players can go for some money. Uh, there's a Brother P Touch. <coughs> Scotch, got some, yeah, that's definitely an older printer. Set of 100 note cards for every occasion. Holy crap, okay. So like I said, there's a bunch of phones in here. It's funny because I got a phone lot going on right now. It's up to like 30 bucks. So I mean, that's pretty dope. Oh, that's an S10. That's a new, I mean, not necessarily old model, but it's not really a newer model either. So that's actually kind of good. So yeah, what I do with these, I usually just start a phone lot and then just, that's a Galaxy J7. Yeah, I would say this is definitely an iPhone here. And I just put them up, up there for auction. And that's just kind of what I do. iPhone SE. And then we just have a regular Samsung. I think I used to have this one. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Alright, what else we got in here? Got some personal stuff in here. I think so. And it's all going to be personal. What we got in here? Oh, it's a Samsung tablet. Yeah, I usually just like I said, I usually once I get enough of them, I usually put all these in a in a lot. Yeah, Samsung. Can't read that, but there's that. <clears throat> a couple laptops here. Yeah, older HP for sure. Yeah, this thing is older. Yeah, iCore 3, i3. I don't really do lots of laptops because they do take up a lot of room. I usually just look at what the specs are on the laptops, whether or not it's worth it. <clears throat> this is an AMD A6, Inspirion, or Inspirion 15. Again, older. Looks like it's corroded a little bit right there. So, yeah, we probably won't, <clears throat> probably won't mess with those. And again, older printer. So, yeah, got some, got some phones, though. All right, guys, so check this out. I just realized this, okay? So the reason why this is all messed up because I pulled a tote, okay? It was this one specifically. And uh, I, it, there's no way this thing was coming down. So I had to bring it down. And then look, as soon as I look up, look at that. That's a gun case, you guys. That is a gun case. This is not a gun case. I lied. It's a bow case. <laughs> oh, that's a bow case. <laughs> not a gun case. Sorry. <laughs> I started freaking myself out for a sec because I can only see the back end. I don't think anything's gonna be in there, you guys. All right, I don't think anything's gonna be in there because the weight. But some bows can be lightweight, so I don't know. Let's see. And it's not in there. No bow. That's a nice bow case, though. Heavy duty. It is a uh, a Gander MTN. Flamboy Outdoors. I think that's what it says. But. Yeah, that's a nice case. We'll put that in the yard sale. You know, we don't necessarily need to put that online. I know I'm not doing box by boxes because I'm trying to get out of here. I'm by myself, as you guys know. My wife's in Oklahoma right now. And it's uh, currently almost 1 o'clock. We got here just before 10 o'clock. <coughs> so I've been going through everything. Um, there's a lot of furniture, as you guys can see here. We're about to hit up all this here in just a sec. Um, I looked at uh, one box. 
and then found a couple things as well uh, so this is a canon t50 um seen better days but it has a, a lens or two with it um may or may not work i'm not too sure uh but canon t50 found a couple of loose department 56 that's the tutberry printer and then this one is the mermaid fish shop i think i've sold that before for like 10 bucks uh but don't know if they're cracked or chipped didn't check in that so this piece of tape actually said collectibles on it um and when i opened it i saw this and then i saw the linux thing and that's actually in there um that's in there so yeah a lot of uh collectible type stuff i mean this is coming in at the worst time because christmas is literally in less than a week so this stuff might sit till next year maybe but i, I think actually that's actually another linux box let's see there's that you guys saw that there's a boyd's bear yeah it is yeah boyd's bears not really worth a whole lot seems like there are some loose ornaments in here like the crayola thing uh charlie brown we usually lot of the loose ornaments oh look at that got some pennies okay my wife will like that oh another one and another one okay got about a dollar worth of pennies there <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do with the ornaments though. We usually lot them up if they're loose. Just let them go. Uh, auction them off. Is this Linux? No, it's not. This one's Linux, right? No, it's not. Okay. So we have another one of those. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll just take this whole box and then, you know, do what, do with what we need with the other stuff. Uh, but yeah, got some pennies and all that. Let's go ahead and tackle uh, this stuff over here. Um, I found some like hydro flasks. They're not hydro flasks branded, but there's some things like that that fell over. Um, and this couch, you guys, not gonna lie, it freaking stinks like dog. So I don't think this couch is gonna be salvageable, um, unfortunately. Uh, this mini fridge, it smells like alcohol. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if I really want to deal with that, but we'll see. We'll see. We might know somebody who might want it, and maybe even the couch too. Oh, never mind. I just ripped it right there just from stepping on it. So, anyways. <laughs> All right. So, let's go ahead and start messing with this stuff up here. Um, so, we got some remotes to stuff. This is Monster. Okay. Um, No brand on that speaker. We have all the remotes. This one. What remote is this? I'm not sure what remote that goes to. Then we got the I Symphony. That's what that is. And then we have this hard gray cable modem, I'm assuming, remote. Yeah, that's a Symphony one. Uh, Bell Howl something. Symphony. Oh, we got a Garmin here. I don't know which Garmin it is, though. It doesn't tell me. Most likely older. All right, here we go. Now I can stand up here and look. All right, what we got here? Swan motion sensor, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Swan alarm. Uh, let's see, is the ring? Oh, okay, hold on. It has the weight to it. I know we, I know we saw this earlier. Let's see. Oh, you guys, that's brand new. Look at that. Brand new, never used. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely gonna go with us. Got some Sylvania little screens. Symphony got some stuffed animals there. Master bath necessities, okay. Take that. We'll go through that here in a sec. Yeah, what we got here? Pan digital, oh, it's like a photo frame? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, the pan digital sounded, sounded, uh, familiar it says office paper slash supplies sony blu-ray player no dvd player yeah i think it's just a regular dvd player yearbooks keep dry it's like a little socket set Yep, all over the place. And this right here says folders, clipboards. 
Mimi's paperwork to sort slash file. Another one of those photo digital things. No, okay, so that's a symphony speaker. Okay, so both of those are symphony speakers. So that's good to know. And that looks like some CDs in there. All right. So I'm going to start pulling out some of these boxes. Pull out maybe a handful of these boxes. They're turned around, so I can't tell what they are. Um, and then I think after that, I think we'll get out of here. Um, and just kind of pillage the rest of this stuff for trash. Because I'm going to do a trash run tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah. With that being said let's uh pull these boxes <laughs> all right guys so i pulled those totes from the back uh one of them just had like kitchen stuff i didn't want to bore you guys this whole pile of lights was on top of this and i just saw the hallmark stuff so i just had to come over here and, and show you guys um the hallmark ornaments so uh it's almost kind of repeating of that 10 by 30 but just on a very very much lower scale oh look at that christmas story oh i triple dog dare you yo that that's in there too it has the weight on it oh look at that a Harry Potter one. I don't think I've ever found a Harry Potter one. Oh, no, no, I have. In that 10 by 30 unit, I did. My wife might want that one. We'll throw that over there. Just just in case she does. I'm pretty sure she will. Um, I don't know what that one is. Baby's first Christmas. Some Christmas lights. Oh, look at that. Got the Grinch. Look at that. What a Grinch. What else is there? We won't, we won't spend too much time. This caddy shack. <laughs> Curious George. We sold one of him before. So yeah, lots of ornaments, man. Christmas story. Look at that. That is so cool. So freaking cool, man. Right, that, one, that, that one wasn't in there. That wind is blowing. So yeah, as you guys kind of get the reference, some of them might not be in there. This one's in there. This one might not be. That one's in there. So yeah, might be some some of those loose ones uh, in that box or that box over there. Uh, some of those might actually go to this. So we will definitely take this box with us just in case they do. And we'll just kind of throw the rest of the Christmas stuff into a different garage sale pile. Alright, this one right here opened up. It's all kitchen stuff. This one I have not opened up. It's the Master Bath Necessities one. Oh, that one didn't work at all. There we go. Doing this with one hand. I sure do miss my wife. <laughs> she makes recording so much easier. <clears throat> Probably even more entertaining than me. <laughs> Alright. Master bedroom necessities. That would be necessities. Got some tampons. Okay. Grooming kit. Mary Jewelry. Okay, hold on. We'll look at that, that in a sec. Another little grooming kit. Nail polish. Fake nails. That type of stuff. Alright. Alright, let's open up that little box. Alright, there we go right there. Mary Jewelry. Oh, look at that. Oh, yo, look at this. It's it's an it's a uh, personalized, but it says Tiffany and Co. Nine two five Sterling, and it's a uh, uh, what's it called? A cash thingy. Wow. Bill Fold. There you go. I knew I, I was trying to figure out what it was called in my head. What is that? And oh wow, that's nine two five as well. That's nine two five. Wow. Got a little, little mixture of stuff in here. That thing right there says 925 as well. Alright guys, so I just want to clarify something. So we found that little box in the bottom of a random box, right? So the money clip, billfold, whatever you guys want to call it, that is by Tiffany & Co, right? So that one that I just picked up, the one that I said that was 925, it looked like a little heart kind of on a skinnier chain that right there is also tiffany and co whenever i was looking at it obviously i didn't look at everything because i was in a rush 
but it is Tiffany & Co. So the money clip we actually have up there for $100. We have five watchers on it. Uh, then we have the Tiffany & Co. heart tag sterling silver small pendant necklace is what it's called. Um, I currently have that up there for 150 of course I got best offers on it and uh, I think it says two watchers on there so um, just in those two little items you're looking at what $250 worth of jewelry right there uh, pretty crazy wild stuff so I just wanted to clarify that that necklace was also Tiffany & Co if you guys can believe that so it's always good to check <coughs> the rest of this stuff out that's not gold okay a few pieces of sterling that's pretty dope all right guys so these are the last two boxes i'm gonna do for the day i went ahead and cut this one open i um because i need to get busy with wrapping it up because it's already almost 1 30 i'm gonna be out of here by three um, and I'm gonna load up whatever I can for trash. It's actually trash, like not garage sale stuff, but trash trash. Um, so I got a little bit of room left in my trailer there. Um, <clears throat> this baby thing has like mold and crap all over it. The toys and stuff have mold. I'm just, I'm not gonna put that out there at the yard. So, um, but I opened this up, haven't looked in it. It just looked like one of the more unique boxes that we find, I guess. I don't know. But, but anyways, it's like, like I said, it's the last two boxes and uh hopefully what is that bacon i don't know um yeah we will uh do these last two boxes and then we'll wrap it up lock of hair first tooth that's kind of cool oh big box oh snap okay that's a big lens. This is the biggest Linux one we've seen today. Alright. It has the weight. Come on, be like Disney or something. Something big. Actually, right, so let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yo. Oh, look at that, you guys. Let's see. What is this thing called? This thing is called Northern Journeys by Lynn Bywaters. I don't know. But look at that. Yo, that is so sick. Look how detailed it is. I'm not seeing no chips or cracks or anything, but I'll give it a better go at it whenever we get home. <clears throat> well, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome, you guys. There's one more box here. Oh, and that one's also Disney. It's probably going to be one of those salt shakers, ain't it? Yep. Okay, so we have four pairs. We have four pairs of these. Four of them. <laughs> All with the COA. Okay. I don't know why somebody would buy four of these. I don't know. All right, but uh, yeah, that's it for that box. Fragile Christmas items and train set. <coughs> Georgia Bulldog ornament. With some more loose ornaments here. Oh, what is this? Georgia Bulldog ornament. Hold on. Oh, Athens. Look at that. Life's Mom by Seasons Designs. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll we'll put all these in the ornament tote. <clears throat> mm, what's in this? What are these? Oh, the Department 56 figures. Yeah, that whole thing is Department 56. So look at this. So there's a box over here. I'm pointing that way. Um, that are uh, empty boxes. So maybe <clears throat> these go to that. Gotta be gentle with that. Don't want to break them. <clears throat> Got some lights. Oh, look at that. It's a nice little postcard. Uh, little wall decor thing. I can't get that off. <laughs> but that's pretty, pretty neat. And this says Walt Disney World Railroad. Okay. Let's 
And that one says it as well. Walt Disney World Railroad. Push to open. Oh, oh, look at all that corrosion. Maybe it'll help, maybe it won't, I don't know. Alright, sorry about that, you guys. My daddy called me. Um, I went ahead and moved all the stuff out. There's all the train tracks. There's the Disney World Railroad 1, 2, 3, and the main one, which is this one. Scientific Toys. So, I don't know. But it's Walt Disney, and I figured, why not? Alright, that's going to end it for me for uh, this video. Um, again, <clears throat> we haven't gone through like this stuff. But I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, little dolly here, TV here. It's a big TV. This, this should sell pretty decent. Um, got a tire, some wrought iron chairs with the table. Again, just shooting out prices, maybe easily 100 bucks for that. Just to get rid of it, maybe 150 This chair is messed up. That's got to be thrown away. Uh... The, that couch 100% has to be thrown away. I'm throwing away this fridge. Um, I'm going to throw away this thing. This thing right here is all flimsy and messed up. Um, the mattresses have to go. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all that today. Now, you know, for one thing though, these chairs are actually kind of nice. So there has to be like a, a dining room table in here somewhere. That's a nice little uh, dresser, but it's like one piece though. You know what I mean? So it's not like numerous pieces. Um... So I don't know. There's some yearbooks, bed, bed railings. So there, I don't know. There might be something sneaking in here. Uh, if the future me give you guys an update on this unit, um, I will, or he will definitely let you guys know. I'm talking to third party, uh, I will let you guys know. Um, the future me will will give you guys the update uh, that you guys need and deserve. Um, and uh, yeah, so we found some pretty cool pieces again. I know you guys didn't get to see a lot of it, but just kind of show you guys. A lot of chairs. Um, this had crib parts. I saved that just in case we found a crib. Uh, gates. I mean, just little knickknacks like that. These are personal. Um, just like, you know, just stuff that's full with like dishes and stuff. These are the empty boxes right here. Um, Christmas lights. So, like I said, whenever I say like the stuff isn't really anything crazy, it's just not. Just I don't want to bore you guys with it. Personal stuff. These are garage sale items. This is garage sale. Uh, probably gonna trash that because those are pretty cheap anyways um we have the chairs and everything and then there is a wagon where's the wagon at? i think it's this blue one we might actually keep that um and then the bow case and there i mean i don't know i don't know you guys you know it is what it is um we're gonna move on to our next project hopefully get this thing done sooner than later it's like a big old matchbox thing there uh, but hopefully sooner or later we'll get this done um unfortunately i'm gonna have to rent it out for one month i can't get here because again uh me and my wife's anniversary is this thursday so but it's fine it, you know i think i think the unit is definitely going to pay off in the in the long run and you know between well, actually i think it's the crib right here maybe um but between the other unit and this unit we have a thousand fifty and like some change into it um but future me will give you guys the update with the dump fees um rental fees all that good stuff you know like i said we'll keep you guys updated with all that and uh hopefully i do realize i missed that box up there sorry i got like adhd or something um but hopefully we'll find something else that's good um but you guys let me know how you guys think i did all the linux pieces uh the department 56 stuff um all the hallmark ornaments again <laughs> i don't know it's it's, it's kind of wild the fact that we find so many hallmark ornaments um you know little stuff like that the canon t50 a bunch of shoes um but i don't know I guess we'll see how everything goes. So with that being said, the Future Me is going to take it away. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Future Me, take it away. All right, guys. So this storage unit is officially done. It is absolutely done. We went through a bunch of other stuff, like those two little boxes that are on top, and and uh, you know try to figure out what the furniture is going to go for that type of stuff. But we're talking about strictly just eBay and and all this other stuff. Uh, but the the unit is officially done. Uh, we got it all cleaned out. Uh, I think a week ago from today. So technically today is. January 7th we won this unit on December 18th and uh, it's been about 20 days since we won this unit now I'm gonna break down these numbers for you guys and when I like I said storage units are, can really surprise you from time to time so let's just go ahead and break down these numbers so again it's been 20 days since we won this unit we have well over 100 items listed if you guys kind of want to know how I do it so this is kind of how I do it whenever I list stuff 
I put the link of it and all that and then that way if I ever really wanted to like you know just click on it like this um, and then boom it'll come up to the sole comp of the Wolverine boots right uh, and anything that's green right now is stuff that is sold and as you guys can see this is just kind of how I do it um, so everything's done listed once everything's done listed then I am officially done with uh, with just listing stuff from this unit so uh, but that's kind of how I do it with my spreadsheet once I'm in the green I'm in the green uh, but once I'm in the green, I don't keep up with it anymore. That's just the way I do it. Uh, some people like to see things all the way through, but not me. So with that being said, 20 days since we won this unit, on auction, we won this thing after buyer's premium and taxes for $713.70. Our dump fees consisted of two dump fees, and I do have a little story for you guys, so if you guys don't want to hear this whole rant, you guys can click off now. Uh, so we had a dump fee of $99, which was our first dump run, and then our last dump run was $37.80, which pushes, puts us at our dump fees for $136.80. Um, and before I get into the dump fee story, um, we had to rent this unit out for one month, which was $251, and in total invested into this unit only, we're invested into it at $1,101.50. Now the dump fees would have actually been more on a day that we actually did our second dump run. So our dump facility is 10 cents per pound, and uh, whenever their card machine is down, technically the dump is free. So me and my wife are sitting there talking about it, um, how the facility wouldn't let us rent it out or uh, give us an extra day just to finish it because unfortunately we had to spend $251 unfortunately because um, we would have had it done in an extra day but it is what it is and we were sitting there talking about it we were like you know what don't complain it's life it is what it is and good karma will come our way and sure enough we went to the dump that same day not even two three hours later uh, they were like hey uh, dump is free today because our car machine's down so uh yeah so i i want to say we dumped about 250 dollars worth of trash so remember what i told you guys be a good person stay true to who you are and good things will happen so that was kind of a blessing in disguise right uh so that really uh cut down our dump fees as well but over 1100 invested all in so as of right now we've listed well over 100 items for a total of about three thousand eight hundred and fifty four dollars worth of merchandise uh as of 20 days of having this unit and listing and all that stuff and everything that else that we're doing in life so far we have sold one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and sixty five cents which puts us in the green by about a hundred and fifty dollars and that is after taxes that is after fees that is after our shipping labels everything we've done one thousand two hundred fifty dollars in 20 days just from this unit so we also have left to resell from the stuff that we have listed after everything that is sold, we still have over $2,600 left to sell from this unit. And that's not including our furniture, it's not including um, our garage sale stuff, it's not including any of that. All that stuff is gonna be, you know, whatever. We're talking about just stuff that we have listed and all that good stuff. Pretty phenomenal things going on. This unit really saved us, especially with that last one. Uh, so all in all, we're probably right around, I would probably say about $1,800 or so invested in both units um so let's just let's just round it up to two thousand just a hypothetical add in gas and food and whatever so let's say two thousand dollars all in invested um and you figure we have over thirty eight hundred dollars listed so we're, we're gonna all pretty much almost double up uh you know uh, after all said and done so can't complain that is a great hard hard working day uh or week couple of days whatever a couple of weeks and um all in all what a great great unit so with that being said Work hard, stay on your hustle, stay on your grind because good things can happen. The fact that we were already in the profit in less than a month, that is that is great in my book. And with that being said, 2024, we're coming in hot. We're going to be buying a whole lot more storage in it. So be prepared. We appreciate all the love and support, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button, that subscribe, share the videos with your friends. And uh, if you ever want to learn how to make money, make sure you watch all my videos. So with that being said, it's your boy, Georgia Picker. Peace. I don't want to wake up.